I'm aware of a number of former members of parliament who could not go out to buy medicine because of poverty and they died. At the time, Professor Michael Kwe, as chair of the board, needed to help a former MP with 12,000 Ghana cities. And this MP was requesting to do a surgery. So Professor Kwe whispered that minority leader find half and I also provide half. Mr. Speaker, before one week, this former MP passed on. Former MPs, they die miserably, not because of anything. You see, they come out of parliament unable to save anything. Concerns from the Speaker, Alban Bagbin, and some members of parliament and a former MP on the state of MPs post-service. Despite the challenges, many people dream of becoming lawmakers. Adam Agbana, who won the NDC parliamentary primary, is set to represent the people of Ketu North after the December parliamentary polls. I really did a self-introspection, checked my accounts, and I, I, I was satisfied that at least I have built for myself within this few years uh, some good financial base to be able to ride on that and go to parliament. The MPP's Dom Kwabinya parliamentary candidate Michael Okwe Jr. acknowledges the low salary of MPs just as NDC parliamentary candidates for Okankwe Central, Abdullah Abu Sadiq. The judiciary are giving cars. Executive are giving cars. All my directors here, they are giving cars. The chief directors in the ministry, ministers, they are all giving cars to use. But parliamentarians have to use their own money and get a loan. For me, money cannot be the incentive because maybe in your private practice, you are even earning more than what you'd get as a parliamentarian. Uh, one won't call it request, per se, but essentially, um, these are people really looking for um, good leadership or people to aid them where generally the country hasn't been able to provide for these needs that they want. Yes, we've heard the reports, but if you ask me as well, it comes to the job. But the citizens' demands will not hinder their pursuit of their dreams. Even though I have not been an MP before, from a close range, I know what goes in there and I know how life is for them. But I think that my philosophy is that you don't let the position change your standard of living. So if you don't leave within your means and you want to live like in quotes big man the moment you exit from the office and those privileges are no more there then you begin to be uncomfortable so i ask what is the motivation to be able to see what we can also do for the people as a parliamentarian we all know that you are not uh, directly in charge of developmental matters but nevertheless you can use your good office to be able to lobby for things like roads um, water systems and other things that the community may lead as you go around talking to them. I look forward to the opportunity to be able to represent my constituency if I'm given the nod and to be able to represent them when it comes to the enactment and even the amendment of laws in Ghana. Uh, the parliamentary office it gives you a bigger leverage, I mean, um, so to say, to be able to drive development, to be able to enhance the, the, the democratic credentials of the country, and to be able to take part in key decision making that ultimately um, benefits everybody in society. I see the platform as an opportunity to change the narrative about development in my community. I see myself as becoming an instrument of change for my people and that is why all the policies that I'm pursuing and all that I seek to pursue when given the opportunity are aimed towards uplifting the communities and empowering my people. Over the past decades, spending on intra-party candidate selection has quadrupled, with aspiring MPs spending thousands of cities on delegates and counters alone. For these candidates, the amount spent in becoming a legislator will not deter them. They will find ways and means to fund the activities just to become an MP, not just to enjoy the prestige that comes with it, but to better serve the people. They are, however, mindful of life after the legislature. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.